Hello and welcome to another episode of On My Bookshelf. And in this show, we're going to be looking at this book, Thomas Heaton's Landscape Photography. Now, regular viewers of On My Bookshelf will know that I already did an episode of On My Bookshelf featuring this book, but that was all based on the PDF copy that Tom was kind enough to share with me. But based on that, I did do a pre-order, I spent my own money, and now that I've got a physical copy of the book, I'm going to tell you what I think of it. Back in April of this year, I published an episode of On My Bookshelf all about Thomas Heaton's landscape photography on location book. It was all based on the PDF copy that Tom was very kind enough to send me. So in that video, I'm taking a look at the pictures, the stories, the text, some of the cool features of the book, such as the QR codes that he's put in there. These link the kind of photographs to the videos that he's made while he was out capturing those photographs. But you know, like anything, I think the physical aspects of the book are an important part of the decision buying process. So while I might have been bold enough to pre-order based on the PDF copy, um, I thought it was important for me to make a sort of supplementary video that looks at some of the physical aspects of the book. So in this video, we're gonna look at some of the things like uh, what the, the cover of the book is like uh, and what the printed images look like. So, but if you wanna see that original video that talks more about the content of the book, I'll include a link for that at the end screen of this video and in the corner screen just now. But why don't we take a look inside and see what it looks like. First things first, let's take a look at the cover of the book. The book itself is 260 millimeters by 260 millimeters and features a hardcover which is uh, both laminated and anti-scratch. And one of the first things that stands out for me, uh, opposed to like looking at the electronic PDF copy, is this foil stamped uh, sort of almost embossed text here that's on the front cover and along the spine. It really helps the text stand out and really gives it that extra uh, element of class, I guess. Now, one thing I did notice along the spine was it does say volume one there. So maybe we can expect a second volume of this book at some point from Tom. Let's take a look inside and have a look at the printed pages. Now, there are 118 pages in this book and they're all printed on Fedragoni 170 GSM satin paper. Now, before I start talking about the image quality, I do something perhaps a little bit weird, but I just wanted to comment on the smell of this book. It smells absolutely lovely. Anyone who's bought a new book and when you when you open it up, you've got that unique new book smell. And uh, yeah, I think it's <laughs> absolutely fantastic. It's got a sense of a uh, smell of quality about it. But weird smell things aside, let's talk about the images in the book and how they're printed. Now, I don't know who Tom got to, to make, uh, print this book, um, but whoever did it, in combination with that paper has made an excellent choice because those images have come out absolutely brilliant. Now, when I first saw these images, I saw them in a reasonably sort of low resolution PDF proof copy. So I knew what the images looked like and I have seen some of them before, but I'd only ever seen them in, in digital form. And anyone who's been watching this channel will know what a fan I am of making my own print. So I really appreciate a good printed images and these images look absolutely fantastic. The color images, there's a lot of vibrancy there in the color without being overly saturated, it looks natural and, and realistic. And then some of the darker tones in the, in the black areas and the graduations from dark to light have really worked out well. The images just sort of, they really come to life. And, and this is why I keep going on about books, it's why I keep making these, these videos because there's something very special about looking at a photography book. And, you know, and, and I'm a big fan of Thomas Heaton and I really love his images. So being able to actually have this book and, and to look through the, these images in detail and, and sit there with a cup of coffee and appreciate them is a real uh, experience. So now that I know all about the content of the book and obviously I did my own pre-order and now I've got the physical aspects of the book, is this still a book that should be on your bookshelf? Absolutely, so if you haven't already got your copy, um, Tom signed all the pre-orders, I've got a, a signed copy here but it is still available for order. So uh, if you fancy picking it up, head on over to his uh, website. I'll include a link for that in the video description and pick one up. It's well worth it. And certainly this is gonna take pride of place on my bookshelf as well. Oh, 
Just one thing before I wrap up, I forgot to mention that that there's a slight change in the text layout, and this is an improvement. So the PDF copy I had, it was one page of text, one column, and Tom switched that to one page of text, but with two columns, and this makes the text a little bit easier to read. So I just thought I'd point that out for anyone who's watched the original video and is now looking at this book. But that's an improvement uh, rather than anything else. So that's just about it from this video. No. This was quite a short video, but like I say, this was just a, a supplementary video to talk about the physical aspects of Thomas's book. Remember, if you haven't seen it already, to check out the content-based uh, video uh, for this book. I'll include a link for that at the end screen of this video. Now, did you enjoy this episode of On My Bookshelf? I certainly hope you do, um, because I've got some very exciting episodes in the pipeline. I've got a couple of very special books I cannot wait to get on my bookshelf and share my thoughts with you. These are properly exciting so please do stay tuned for that so if you're not already a subscriber why don't you click on that subscribe button uh, and if you do or if you're already a subscriber remember clicking that bell icon that way you'll receive a notification as soon as i post up a new video but until the next one i shall see you then